Hey everybody, welcome back to The Way Ramen. So my stove appears to be broken, so I guess we're doing an instant ramen hack today. And this actually kind of works out because I've been in the mood to try to figure out how to make a lemon shio ramen. And I just so happened to see this instant ramen hack on Japanese YouTube where this guy used a package of instant shio ramen and made a lemon shio ramen. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I kind of made my own version of a lemon shio ramen using flavors that I like that was inspired by this guy's instant ramen hack. So I'm not sponsored by Sapporo Ichiban, but just as far as these brick instant ramen packs go, I think these work really well because they're cheap for one. And also just with a few tweaks, you can often make something that tastes pretty good. The Shio ramen pack comes with the noodles, the soup packet, and also some ground sesame seeds. And I'm going to be using all of these things to kind of build my flavors around this. So to start things off, I'm just going to mince up some red onion here and then get this soaking in some water. We're going to be using these for a topping, so the water should help to draw out some of the harshness of the raw onion. I'm going to soak these just for a few minutes and then strain them out, and then they should be good to go. Next, I'm going to slice up some lemon as thinly as I possibly can. The thicker that these slices are, the stronger the lemon flavor is going to be in your soup, so you probably want to use a mandolin or something like that to get these things as thin as possible. And for the last bit of prep, I'm just going to grate one clove of garlic and then add that into my bowl with about a tablespoon of olive oil. The olive oil and the fresh garlic will kind of act like a pseudo aroma oil here. And then I also added the soup packet right into the bowl because why not? It's like a tare, right? So all that's left to do is just cook the noodles. So I followed the instructions on the package. I brought 500 milliliters or two cups of water to a boil and then cooked the noodles for three minutes. And when the noodles were done cooking, I poured the water from the noodles into the bowl and mixed everything together to make the soup. And then I added the noodles into the bowl just like regular ramen. And then I topped with the lemon slices, some Eric Bent style sous vide chicken breast chashu, which you can learn how to make in the previous video, the red onions, and then I sprinkled some of the sesame seeds that came with the ramen. And that's my twist, my take on an instant lemon shio ramen. This is super easy to make, and this was actually pretty tasty. I personally really like the classic shio dare flavor profile, which is pretty commonly used in Japanese home cooking. It usually consists of salt, green onions, garlic, lemon, and sesame oil. It's really refreshing, and I think it pairs really well with chicken, so I kind of wanted to make a bowl that gives off those feels when you eat it. I think overall this was a pretty successful attempt, but maybe I didn't need the whole soup packet because it did get a little bit too salty. And I also sliced some of the lemon slices a little bit too thick, so the lemon flavor was just a little bit too strong as well. But overall, the flavors that I wanted were there, so I think I'm going to probably try to make a real version of this ramen with real ramen ingredients, and that should be a pretty fun project to work on. I just need to figure out my stove situation though, but I guess I do have a lot of extra frozen stock from the Keizo video and the Taishokin video, so I guess I'll just be using some of those. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and for all the support. Videos might be a little bit sporadic here for a bit because I got some pretty big changes and transitions going on in my personal and professional life. Nothing bad, but just kind of big things that are keeping me a little bit busy. So I'll try to find time to make some videos for this channel, but they will probably be shorter videos, more focused videos on like a topping or something like that or instant ramen hacks just until I can kind of get things settled again. Hopefully you guys will find those videos useful too, but they probably won't be as intense as some of the longer ramen cooks that I've been doing. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for the support and for watching this video and for watching any of these videos. I'm truly grateful, super humbled, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.